Since we are building a website in this series, it would be nice for that website to have some sort of SEO present. So titles, descriptions, open graph tags and so on. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up SEO for your Next.js and Strapi site. To set up SEO on our website, we are going to be using Next SEO plugin. You're of course welcome to go through the documentation, but the only thing we need right at this moment is just this npm install script. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it into my terminal and wait for it to install. Now after this is finished, we go to our code editor and in the root of our site, I'm going to create a file called nextseo.config.js. So now that we have this file, we can add configuration for next SEO in it. Now I'm going to add default values for my site. These values are going to be applied on every page on our site, unless we override it specifically on that page, which we will be doing in this tutorial. So uh, once we defined our default values, uh, the most simple one would of course just be this, but we also wanna have open graph tags and uh, Twitter tags and so on. So I'm just going to save this. And now we can implement this in our app.js file. Now we are going to import default SEO component into our app.js file. After that, we are just going to import the configuration that we just created in this file. So this is going to be the configuration for our default SEO component. And default SEO component is going to be applied throughout the site. All we need to do right now is just call this SEO component uh, in our component and pass it in this SEO variable that we created uh, when importing next, next SEO config.js. So I'm not going to save this just now because I just want you to take a look at the difference that is going to happen. So if we go to our site, as you can see, we uh, the site is called create re, uh, next app and we want it to be called next movies. Also, if you take a look at the code, as you can see, there is not much right here. We just get the title, create next app, and that's about it. So now I'm going to save this file. And now when we go to our browser to take a look, as you will see, there will be a difference. So first thing you may notice that the title here has changed and it says next movies right now. And if we take a look at the code, you're going to see the title, you're going to see the descriptions, OG tags, Twitter tags, and so on. So we are getting this on every page we go to. So for example, if I go to an about page, take a look at its code, I'm getting pretty much the same things. Of course, we would need this title to be about not next movies. Also, we may want to change this description. Maybe we want to add an image to every page and so on. So now I'm going to show you how you can override these defaults for every specific page that you want. In our about page, first of all, I'm going to import next SEO component. Now this is not the same component as here right? This one was called default SEO. We are going to import next SEO component. And now I'm just going to make a few changes to the about component because we need to accommodate for the next SEO component that we are going to be adding to an about component. So now we want to override our default SEO values. And to do that, we are just going to create another variable. And in it, we are just going to define SEO configuration specific to this page. So we are defining the title to be about page and description, just your normal about page. Of course, just like we did in the app.js file, we are just going to have to import next SEO component inside of our about component. And now if we save this and check it out in the browser, first of all, as you can see, the title has changed. And now we can take a look at the code. You can see that we are getting the title about page, uh, but all of these other things right here are just the same uh, like on every other page. So the database of movies created with Next.js and Strapi and so on. These things are the same because uh, we didn't define, for example, open graph tags for this page. In our next SEO config.js file, title and description are automatically applied to the open graph tags. 
but on our about JS page, this isn't true. So we need to define those open graph tags also. And now if you save this and take a look at the HTML output that we are getting from Next.js, we can now see that in the description we are getting just your normal about page, for OG description it's the same, we are getting the correct title and so on. The only thing that bugs me is this next movies title. So we need to correct this, I'm not sure why we are getting two titles, uh, this shouldn't be like that. So let me just check something. So if you go to your document.js file, just delete this create next app. Let's check the code now. Okay, so now we are getting just this one title. This is great. Now we can't override SEO for every movie specifically, but of course we can do it dynamically through the code. So for the movies, we of course want to have SEO for them, they are the main part of our site, so we also want uh, for every movie to have a different title, right? It, right now if we go to Big Lebowski, it says next movies, and if we take a look at the code, we are just getting the default SEO for that movie. So we of course want to change that, and we want to change that dynamically, and luckily next SEO is going to make this very easy for us, as you will see. On our slug.js file, we pretty much do the same thing uh, that we did for our about.js. So we just import next SEO. After that, we define our SEO overrides. But now instead of hard coding this data right here, we are of course going to make it dynamic since we are getting the data from the movie. So of course for the title we are going to use the movie title and for the description we can use movie description which we have. Of course uh, what you can do if you want to build a robust SEO for your site, you can of course maybe add some additional fields to your Strapi backend to get additional data uh, for your SEO. But for now we are just going to use title and description and we are just going to change them uh, so that they fill out dynamically depending on what, you, what movie you are currently on. And that would look something like this. So for the title I'm setting next movies and then this pipe and then I'm displaying movie title. For the description we are, we are of course just using movie description and for open graph tags well it's the same. So uh, the only thing that we need to do now is uh, add fragment around box container. And now here we are just going to add our next SEO component. And now let's just take a look at it. So now as you can see the title is next movies Big Lebowski. And if we click here, uh, you can see that we are getting that title right here. Uh, we are getting the description of the movie in our description tag and our OG description tag and our SEO works. Of course next SEO has many more options and you should check the documentation for it uh, if you want to do some more complicated stuff uh, with the SEO for your site. Okay so this is it for this video, uh, everything we did here will be available for you on github, the link will be in the description below and as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.